Lesson 91 is about geometric formulas. And this table shows us several geometric formulas that we need to know. So for a square, well, the perimeter of the square, the distance around the outside of the square, that's going to be equal to 4 times s. So p in our formula means perimeter, and s must be the side length. So if we know the side length of the square, well, we multiply by 4 to find the perimeter. The area of a square, that must be area is equal to the side length s squared. So if one side length was 5, we find the area by saying 5 squared. 5 times 5, that's 25. Now we've got more formulas. A rectangle, well the perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. The area of a rectangle is equal to the length times the width. For a parallelogram, the perimeter is equal to 2 times the base b plus 2 times the side length s. And the area of a parallelogram, well that's just the base times the height. For a triangle, well, the perimeter of a triangle is equal to side length 1 plus side length 2 plus side length 3, and the area of a triangle is equal to 1 half times the base, b, times the height, h, or you could say base times height divided by 2. Please pause the video now to record this uh, table into your notes. Now we'll use these formulas to solve many different questions, and knowing these formulas will be very helpful as we go through. We've only got one example today. Let's look at it. We want to write the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. Then substitute 8 centimeters for the length and 5 centimeters for the width. Solve the equation to find P. Now the perimeter of a rectangle. Well, the perimeter of a rectangle, perimeter of a rectangle is going to equal 2 times the length L plus 2 times the width W. So if we were to look at a picture of what that looks like, well, here's our rectangle. If we were to have our, let's say our length is, well, let's use this number that we have. Then substitute 8 centimeters for the length. So we've got 8 centimeters for the length. And we have 5 centimeters for the width. We want to solve the equation to find p. The reason this formula works for the perimeter is because if we take 2 times the length, well, that would be the bottom side and the top side. We take 2 times the width, side on the right, and the side on the left, we find our perimeter. So when we substitute these values in, the one thing we need to do is we always need to use parentheses. So p perimeter is going to be equal to 2 times the length. The length is 8 centimeters. So we're going to get 2 times 8 centimeters plus 2 times the width, w, that's 5 centimeters, and now we can solve. So the perimeter is going to be equal to, well, we've got 2 times 8 centimeters, that's 16 centimeters, plus 2 times 5 centimeters, that's 10 centimeters. Well, we know the perimeter then must be equal to 26 centimeters, because 16 plus 10 is equal to 26. Now the key when we substitute these values in is that we always use parentheses. It helps us to identify that we're multiplying. Remember these formulas. Remember the formulas in the table. They're going to help you as you go through our next lessons where we're working with these quite often. Our lesson practice will be on page 491. Make sure you've got your notes complete, and I'll see you during our next class.